Tarzan of the Apes, from the novel by Edgar Rice Burroughs. With Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan, and Mr. Juan Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American gold field production coming to you over the world broadcasting system and associated stations. When Tarzan learns that Jane Porter, whom he has learned to care for, is a prisoner aboard the pirate ship, he swims alone to the ship, releases her, and succeeds in swimming ashore with her. Convinced that her own people cannot take care of Jane, Tarzan takes her into the jungle with him. Meanwhile, Professor Porter and his party, in trying to rescue Jane, have been wrecked on a reef and are attacked by the pirates. While in the jungle, Tarzan hears a call for assistance from his tribe, the great apes, and goes to the rescue. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. Holding Jane firmly in his one free arm, Tarzan speeds along the jungle terrace. The ape cries have changed from anger and surprise to fear and consternation, and Jane feels Tarzan's speed increase with every death-defying swing or breathtaking leap. Branches bend and creak, sap oozes from trailing vines as Tarzan wings his way deeper and deeper into the jungle fastness. Only Jane's supreme confidence in the ape man's ability keeps her from calling out when, in some dizzy, swinging arc, she looks down, down into the shaded depths a hundred feet below. Are we almost there, Tarzan? Yes, Jane. Hold on. Now we go below. Shooting the action to the word, Tarzan drops down through the matted and twisted screen of violent creeper. Jane opens her eyes as she feels Tarzan land on the moss-strewn jungle floor. There, crouched, fangs bared, and dripping sheet of the leopard. And between his braced forelegs, a baby ape. Ranged in a circle, afraid to draw closer, the great ape watched the huge cat. Sheeta, the fine hairs on the nape of his neck bristling, stands tense. If he lowers his head to pick up the baby ape, the tribe of Kershak will rush him. If he turns back into the brush, he will force his prey. Uttering his prior challenge, Tarzan leaps across the intervening space. Sheeta curls his lips back, opens his dripping jaws, and roars defiance. Oh, Tarzan! Tarzan! Kershak, like her, fell! Tarzan, bundle, Sheeta! Tarzan calls to the tribe to get the baby ape away while he kills Sheeta. The leopard points his swimmer, the tense muscles tighten for the spring. Tarzan meets, comes down, pulling in the infuriated boot track. Tarzan leaps back. Tarzan's knife rises and falls. Sheeta holds in agony as the red-hot stabbing pain shoots into his body. Again and again, Tarzan's knife sinks into Sheeta's side. With a scream, Sheeta tags, limp to the ground. Tarzan rises to his feet, places his foot on the carcass, beats his chest with clenched fists, and gives the victory cry of the bull ape that has made his kill. dance of the apes is beyond the meager powers of Tarzan's English vocabulary. Again, the apes urge about their leader. Oh, 
of the clearing and the hut. Stranded on the coral reef by the foundering of their small boat, the party under Lieutenant Darno are staging the best defense they can. Quickly, Clayton, more ammunition. I haven't any. Here you are, Lieutenant. It is my last. Are we completely out of ammunition? Then cease firing for the moment until they get close air. Keep down, Professor. Uh, I couldn't restrain my curiosity. Oi! You blocks up there, give up. There ain't one chance in a million for you. Uh, uh, perhaps we'd better give up and trust to their mercy. Trust nothing. We must fight on, monsieur. I particularly would like to drop that right face knife. Uh, I shall be guided entirely by the choice of the majority. Uh, let them force the issue first. Well, what about it? We're out of ammunition, Dono. Uh, come closer for a pally. All right, but none of your tricks, mind, or we'll blow you off that reef. Uh, what terms shall I make, monsieur? Quickly, before they arrive. What terms can you make? You mean, don't you, Dono? Uh, surely they will take us ashore. Why, even pirates will agree to anything you do, Dono. Here they are. Well, how now? Uh, what are your terms, Snyder? Uh, uh, ha, ha. That's good, that is. I didn't mind. <laughs> What is your expect? To take us ashore, first of all. Take you ashore, yes, by the Lord Harry. We'll do that all right enough. Just what do you mean by that? I don't like the way you say it. I mean just this. If you won't tell us where the blooming treasure is, then I'll take every mother's son of your shore, and you can dig the old ruddy coast of West Africa up until you find it. And if you don't find it, you can dig your own grind. No, I well, don't get why you I don't want no arguments. I've said you'll dig, and you'll dig. Is that right, Mike? <laughs> so it's murder, is that it? Well, Blimey, what did you expect? Listen here, Snipe. I'd advise you to keep a civil tongue in your head. Easy, I'm... easy, Clayton, easy. We're in a bad situation. No use making it worse at the moment. And one thing more I must request of you, sir. And then sport, Mr. Lieutenant Darnall. It's Captain Snipes to you. Very well, Captain Snipes. There is one thing I must request of you, however. Professor Porter must be excused from any physical labor. Uh, no, no, I insist upon carrying my share of the burden. Hush, Archimedes. You're in no fit physical condition to work. Well, we'll see about that when we get the show. And furthermore, I must request I'll that you... I'll down. Dock up, Snipes. What's this guy to be making conditions? Yes, yeah, that's right. Come on, all of you. Get into the boat. We'll take your saw. Look here, Snipes. One I... word out of you, mister. And you'll get your broom and head blowed off. That's talking, Snipes. That's what they threatened to do to me. Oh, they did, eh? You bet they did. They made me roll that blasted leaky boat of theirs out toward the arrow. Say, did you guys get the dame? No. That junkie guy, that snipes just scared off, came aboard us and jumped overboard with the dame. Gosh, I don't want to meet that guy anymore. You help, monsieur? Shall we continue our parley? This ain't no parley. I'm telling you what to do. Uh, perhaps Tarzan can help us, Leek. There ain't going to be no leak. You're going to dig up the old coast if necessary, but I'll have that treasure. Then what happens to us after we have found the treasure? Oh, so you know where the treasure uh, is. No, 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 no. Take me. I, I mean... Oh, I... never mind what the old goat means. If he knows, so much the better. Besides, the whole gang a lot of digging. And if he don't, then the digging commence. If we find the treasure, I suppose we'll receive our share. You see, I have a great responsibility. Your and... share. <laughs> Say, boys. <laughs> and the a hot one. Yeah. 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 Uh, I only wish to know. After you find the treasure, Mr. Professor Porter, we'll tell you then what we'll do. Brave man, aren't you, Snipes? 
I, too, will use off that gun when we get ashore. I'll break every bone. Clayton, Clayton, for heaven's sake. No violence until Dono has a chance to... Well, he hasn't been able to do anything so far. Right down back there. I don't want to hear no more terror out of any of them. Hey, we are going to break our snipes. All together, boys. Get her one big full when she gets us off of the next wave. Up by the little hut in the clearing, Tarzan and Jane emerged from the jungle. Why, Tarzan, the hut looks deserted. Father, Clayton, others not here. No, it looks that way. Tarzan, no. If Tarm and Ganny stay here. Yes, of course. You can catch their scent spoor. I'd forgotten that for the moment. Jane, go inside? Yes. Why, why what could have happened? They haven't been here since the storm. Look at the sand, leaves, and dirt piled in the corners. Not come back since Tarzan. Others go to boat on feet. You you mean they haven't been here since then? No. But you went alone, out to the ship. They didn't go. No. Boat all broken. Then where can they be? Tarzan doesn't know. They must be down on the coast looking for me. Better not stay here. Soon dark. Better go back to the jungle. Yes, Tarzan. You're right. I'd much rather be with you in the jungle than be here at the hut alone. Come then. There's nothing here, Jane. No. All right. What's that, then? That's the noise I heard once before when Cecil and I were down by the headland. Dum dum. Little more. Begin. The pulsing throb of the great ape's earthen drum penetrates to the farthest corner of the jungle. In the forest depths, the tribe of Kerchak gathers about the sacrificial mound of earth and twigs. And Tarzan, the jungle once more claiming him for its own, sweeps Jane off her feet and starts off to join in the ceremony. What will happen of that weird, unhuman dum-dum that Jane is to visit? And what of Clayton, Darno, and the others? 